So we're in off the road here. This is the entrance into the courtyard at Grouse Lodge. The last time we were here was in May. We had swallows everywhere. Now we have the leaves fallen. There's a few chickens around. A couple of dogs, Bella and Buddy. That's into the garden there, as you can see. It's a lovely room here. The amp that Pierce played his bass through. The recording room is particularly luxuriously spacious. You can take your amps and drums out of the cases. You don't even have to worry where the cases go. There's so much room. Gorgeous grand piano. Beautiful sound of it. A lot of studios you feel a bit cramped because the rooms are a bit small, but this is extra. Sometimes you have musicians hanging around outside the window. Like that's, that's one of them called Noel MacDonald, Noel Noly actually. This is where Ricky plays his drums. We'll go out the garden, will we? More outbuildings down here. There's an ad for ice cream over here, see? An old cone is lovely. It certainly is. I don't know what that joke is. I think it's some kind of a thing that was out at sea one time. Go in here. And then over here we have a little bear. Very important for team morale and coming up with ideas is to sit down and have a drink and relax. Lovely. It's a residential studio out in the middle of the country in Westmead near Moat. And it's just fabulous. The hospitality here is gorgeous. The buildings are gorgeous. The engineer, Alex, here is fantastic. Claire and Paddy give us a great time. Look after us. Yeah, we get well fed, so we can do loads of recording all day. And everybody is on site all the time, so it helps to get an awful lot of work done really quick and to be concentrated on everything. And we have Phil Tennant over, as we always have. See him here? He's actually a cage fighter. He is a dangerous animal in a cage. We met Phil in Glasgow on the Waterboys tour in 1989, Phil was recording the Waterboys live on the night. And as a present for our having done the tour with the Waterboys, Mike Scott asked Phil would he also record the Saw Doctors. At this point in time now, we're the band that has played the Barrowlands the most of anyone over the years. I think it's 46 times we've played there. And uh, what, a pr what a privilege that is. And it's a record where very proud of to have such a strong relationship with the people of Glasgow.